911, what's your emergency? 911 is one of the most action packed, adrenaline filled, heart stopping dramas on TV. The award winning series premiered in 2018 and found success almost immediately by detailing the lives and adventures of first responders. The show is a hit for many reasons excellent acting, powerful stories, and action so realistic you can almost feel it through the screen. And that is by design. I hire a team of superstar LA firefighters on this show. So these, our cast members are working side by side doing fire department tools, equipment, evolutions, combatment of major incidents with real LA firefighters. LAFD retired Battalion Chief Michael Bobin is the technical advisor on 911. He's in charge of the real life firefighters, retired and active, who add an unprecedented layer of authenticity to the show. Any type of firefighting, deployment of equipment, emergencies, advancement of hose lines, climbing of ladders, doing specific evolutions like we're doing here with forcible entry and manipulation of all our tools, we hire our real LAFD firefighters. It depends on the episode, but here I have 12 real firefighters. And we're depicting me as I've got four people that I have as officers. I got four people as LAFD peer group instructors, and I have four people as recruits. And then we also have two real paramedics, which our medical advisor will get. So we have, as far as professionals here, 14 plus the advisors, and we've got 40 background firefighters that you see in the back, plus another 10 stunt firefighters. They call us relays on the, on the show because we're the real firefighters. Real firefighters that bring a certain expertise to the show. We're able to talk with the actors and background folks to make them look and sound a little more authentic. So when the directors and writers put everything together, the script, it all comes alive in an authentic way. Some of the realies are in the show as well. Absolutely, yeah. So we play two, two different roles, to that technical consultant role, so to speak, and then we're actually in the backgrounds, we're in the scenes close up with the actors. So we're working close and correcting and, and kind of managing that, that area so it looks actually real on set. Yeah, and then we're right along with them in the turnout gear or the uniform, adding that, that realistic uh, view to the set. So sometimes they have us in the scenario where we're suited up, we're going in, taking hose lines in, or we're up on a roof doing different movements. And sometimes we're advising the stars of the show how to hold an axe, how to swing, how to do this or do that. And then other times we are given multiple background people to follow in to a certain category or background, whatever it takes to make the, the scene look right. So the realies really do it all in the name of accuracy. And for the actors bringing these heroic stories to life, Getting it right is job one. As you can see just up here just now, Kenny Choi, one of our main cast members and actors on 911, has been here since the inception. Now he's going and making a rappel rescue as a peer group instructor, and he wants to know exactly how he would move, what you would do, very detail oriented. He plays a firefighter paramedic, and the way he does his medicine and the way he does his treatment, very detail oriented. He recites his lines to me, now would you say it like this? I mean, that's the type of level of performance he brings to the table. Having Chief Mike Bowman and his fellow former firefighter on set is invaluable. They show us their dedication, the loyalty, how difficult it was. They give us authenticity, and that brings such a life force to this show. Our show's accuracy is top notch because we have real consultants like Mike over there and real firefighters assisting us doing stunts and you know just making sure that all the protocols are followed correctly, all the tools are being used right, and all the approaches to handling disasters are done in the exact form that it would be in the real world. We actually work with the background actors to make sure that they're holding apparatus or holding equipment and tools the correct way that firefighters would. Uh, working with uh, Mike Bowman, who's our technical advisor for the show, who's a retired battalion chief, and, and we were classmates coming on the job. And we make sure that all everything we do, we try to make it as real as what we did, learning either in the drill tower or in the field. Whether the camera's on or off makes no difference. To represent the LA City Fire Department, which we're all proud to have done in real life for so many years, we try to bring that same pride here. 
The scenes that we're filming now are a rappelling scene where uh, one of the firefighters, the cadets, gets injured. The other cadet is shaken. And he's losing his confidence and, and Chimney has to kind of talk him off the ledge, so to speak, and walk him down as they rappel down the side of the, the drill tower. You have cadets uh, throwing ladders, doing ladder evolution, squirting water, doing auto extrication. You know, so you look around the yard and there's just a lot of moving parts. We're gonna get you out. And keeping it real on 911 goes deeper than just technical advice. Many of the scenarios you see play out on the show are based on real life, stranger than fiction stories that the realies experienced firsthand. They call me down and I'll go to the writer's room and I'll sit at a big long table and they'll start firing questions at me on this and that and this. And the writers are just incredibly talented people. They take that and they'll develop 911 episodes and stories from that. He's asked us on many occasions to feed him some stories so we can write that and various scenes that you've seen throughout the, the six seasons that we're in right now have been from the LAFD's input on what we've been on because really we bring a lot of expertise. We, our firefighters have worked all over the city. They've worked at the airports, they've worked at the harbor, they've worked in hazardous materials and urban search and rescue. So we all bring a certain expertise to this that we can bring to the set and bring it to the actors and the writers and the directors to make this look as real as possible. It shows the life of a firefighter in, in realistic terms, you know, not Hollywood per se, but you know, how, what we really do, what we really say, how we really act. I think authenticity, you know, in any television show, authenticity is really, really important. At the end of the day, obviously, it's fictional and there's dramatic elements to it, but if you can imbue real life events, and on top of that, do real life approaches that accurately portray how it's done, you're not only honoring the craft that this show is about, but also the legacy of those who have come before us and who've lost their lives in this uh, line of duty. You're representing not only the LA City Fire Department, but you're representing fire departments across the nation. And so we all take a lot of pride in the execution of a firefighter's performance and fire department's performance from this show because it's a number one scripted show in America. So it's watched, and it's watched in Europe big time too, and in Australia and so forth. So the way we look at it is, is that we take a great professional pride because we're representing fire departments, not only in LA, but across the nation and in the world. 911, what's your emergency? 